of you. Whether it's your first time or you are returning, I just want to thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me today. On my channel today, I actually have a Stodd haul. So I actually have been following Stodd for maybe a year or two at this point. Uh, there was a purse that I fell in love with that I actually ordered. And then when I got it, I was like, yeah, this isn't practical for this price. <laughs> so I mean, it was a great purse, but I was like, I might carry this once a year and the purse was like $428 and I was just like ah, if I'm gonna spend that much money on a purse it needs to be something that's going to be something that I use on a regular basis and it was not um, but anyway I've been following them and so I got notification that they were having a sample sale and so I'm like well you know I've always wanted to try that color black dress that has been popular for a few years and I'm like maybe this is a good time for me to try the color black dress uh, I'll insert a picture here of that famous or infamous or you know well-known color black dress that a lot of people have gotten and I'm like, this is my time to try it. So I ended up ordering that a dress, another dress that I just thought was really cute, and then a sweater. So full transparency, the sale was like, I want to say it was like, if you spend more than $200, you get 20% off. If you spend more than $300, you get 30% off. So I was sitting like a little bit above the 20 or the $200 threshold. And I was like, you know what? let me go ahead and just find something else to add so I can get 30% off and then whatever it is that I like, I'll still benefit from the 30% off and I can just return the other things. Uh, so I ended up finding this sweater. Now the sweater wasn't something that particularly mm, drew my eye in. It was cute, but nothing that I was like, ooh, I just have to get that. But I'm like, ah, I might as well get it. So anyway, what you are about to see is the two dresses and the sweater that I got from Stodd. So the first dress that you'll see here is the, again, famous color black dress. They have so many iterations of this dress. Some of them are just two-tone, some of them are four-tone, like the blue dress that I have on here. And then some of them have almost like a, I don't know, a, almost like a, a, a prism or something of colors where it might be eight or nine different colors that it fades into on the dress. So. I wanted to add more blue into my wardrobe. That's the reason why I picked this particular dress. I like this dress. I like it a lot, but it is too big. Um, it is too big and the bigger issue, because it's very stretchy, you can see here I'm stretching, I'm moving it around, but the bigger issue is because I'm short and my proportions are, you know, I, I'm not evenly proportioned. I have a short torso, I have long legs. And so, because of my proportions where the hips are supposed to be like where your hips would naturally sit in it so that the the dress itself is a little wider my hips don't fit in that area so you can see it looks kind of ill-fitting because where the hips are naturally cut my hips don't fit in that area uh, i find that a lot with um petite pants not petite pants, with regular size pants, regular length pants, with dresses and with shirts that have a, that are made for your body parts to actually be in a certain place for it to lay right. Even with pants, sometimes I'll find that uh, even though the length of the pants is fine because my knees aren't where the knees are naturally cut in the pants, they look off. <laughs> so it's not just enough to be long enough or to fit your proportions kind of have to fit in the right area, if that makes sense at all. But anyway, my proportions didn't fit. So to me, this looked very ill-fitting. What I will say about this is that this is in a size extra large. I normally sit anywhere between a 14 and a 16, depending on how it's made. This dress could easily, easily, I mean, it's depending on you know where you carry your weight. But honestly, I think this dress could easily be okay for somebody who's a size 20 or 22. So if you are interested in this dress and if you're interested in the stock version, version of this dress, I would honestly encourage you to try it because this dress, as you can see, had so much stretch. Um, but 
because of the proportions, unfortunately, I am gonna go ahead and send it back, but it was really worth trying. The quality is there, especially for the sample sale price. Uh, the quality is there, it's amazing. So I just wish that it would have fit me better. Uh, otherwise, it would have been a no brainer. This really is a great dress. So next up, we're gonna talk about this dress. And as you can see, I don't have it on. <laughs> so um, I am about a 42C-ish around my chest circumference area, my bust area. And when I tried to, cause I did put this dress on and it's, when I got it on, I was like, <clears throat> I mean, I was smushed and tight and I'm like, honey, if you exhale too hard, you're going to bust every thread <laughs> in this thing. So instead of trying to try it on and, and, and style it just to at least show the fit, you need to take this off because you're going to be super mad if you bust the thread or the seams in this and you're not able to return it. So I just gently sucked in and slid it right off the top of me. But it was, it was way too small. There's no stretch in this whatsoever. Um, I don't necessarily think I have that big of a bust, but this thing, it, it was terrible on me. The dress itself was great quality. I thought it was cute and had it fit, I absolutely would have kept this dress, but it just didn't. And uh, yeah, so you can see that this was a scruggle. I was scruggling and uh, so I couldn't keep it, but it's a great quality dress. I really wished it would have fit. All right, so lastly, this is the sweater that I opted to get only to get the discount. And y'all, when I tell you that I have so much egg on my face because as soon as I put this sweater on, I was like, ooh, so freaking cute. So the story behind this sweater, as I told you, is that I wanted to get the 30% discount. I went to go find this sweater because there were like three, three different versions of the sweater colorways. So I went to go get the, the extra large thinking, you know, I'm need an extra large. As soon as I go to put it in, my cart sold out. So I'm like, okay, let me back down to the large. As soon as I go to put large in my, in my cart, sold out. So I'm like, okay, medium. I'm thinking in my mind, you know what? I'm not gonna keep it anyway, probably. So get the medium, get the discount, return it, whatever. So I get the medium. So the, the sweater that you see is actually a medium. So again, you can see that if you are size 18, 20, 22, you still could probably fit this sweater and it still look good on you because here it still looks a little bit oversized even though it is a medium. And I love this sweater so much that I've actually already been scouting out other colorways on like Poshmark and eBay um, to see if I can possibly score another one because I love this sweater so much. So you see, I paired it here with the jeans and the boots. There are different ways to wear this. I think you could dress it up or, or have it very casual, but this sweater, amazing quality, heavy weight, super warm. This is not for your, um, you know, your, your, your light, spring days this is this is a heavy duty sweater right here uh but just amazing quality and i'm so glad i got it and i hope you guys enjoyed my style haul the one thing that i want people to kind of take away from this is that um if it's stretchy or if it's made to be oversized even if you are plus size and i'm for a size 14 16 so i still am plus size Let, like let's be real i still am plus size even though i might be the smaller end of plus size i'm still plus size let's just keep it real but i want people to know that just because a retailer doesn't necessarily cater to plus size that there may still be things there that you can fit and enjoy and um style again is a brand that i have my eye on you know for a while and i'm glad that i finally tried them so now i know that if it's kind of made to fit oversized or it is stretchy probably have a good shot <laughs> at being able to fit into their clothes um if it's not oversized or it's not stretchy if it's very structured 
you might want to not <laughs> for me anyway size 14 16 so uh i just really want to kind of play around with brands and and really enjoy some of the brands that even though they may not cater to plus size specifically still may have what they call sneak plus items so anyway that is my side haul for you today i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comment suggestions or you just want to say hello you know to do it below but otherwise i'll see you next time bye